Welcome to this broadcast on the 2023 children's book from the Light on Light Press, Fog Busters. Our guest will be sharing its colorful cover and contents in just a moment, and you'll see how this book is special, exciting, and inspiring. So we're going to tell you all about Fog Busters and even have some fun with the extraordinary content and our special guests. I'm Dr. Kurt Johnson a managing editor at Light on Light. Fogbusters is authored and illustrated by Victoria Friedman with Ellen Mann. And in collaboration with the famed author and social system scientist, Dr. Rian Eisler. So we're so pleased to have Victoria Friedman and Dr. Rian Eisler with us to share this time. So let's go over now to Victoria. Thanks, Rian. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and for bringing your very informed and dedicated message to children. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Victoria, and to be with all of you who are seeing this online. Thank you. Thank you, Rian. And let's tell the story as we see the pages of the book, Fogbusters, The Eyes of Care. I have to say, I love this little book. And I know that those children and adults will love it too, because it's really about the vital importance of care. So this is the cover of Fogbusters. And as we go down, we'll see the beginning of it, the very beginning of Fogbusters. And the beginning of fog, bu fog Busters is that out there in the universe is a teeny planet, tiny planet called Earth. And on this planet lives a shining fairy. And she is Olivia, the caretaker of the planet. And Olivia, actually, when we first, when I first had, she came out in the book drawn, she looked very serious, very serious. And because we've kind of had input on a team input on this book, a lot of people felt she was a little scary. So then I had a talk with Olivia and she told me that she can change on a, on a dime. She can change her hair color all the time. She can change her skin color. She can make her skin yellow, purple, pink. She can change everything. She can change the height that she is, the, how she flies. She could change everything because she is just changing all the time. And that's fun for her. So she's all about care. And we have Rianne Eisler here with us to tell us a little bit more about care. Well, I think that one thing that is the central theme of this book 
is what children really know from their own experiences, but that we need to really emphasize, and that's care, the vital importance of care. And I love Olivia because she cares for our whole planet. I love the four children with the eyes of care that you'll meet in just a minute. They're wonderful, and so are all children, really. Yes, and um, so long, long ago, a strange fog crept all over the earth, and it washed out all the colors and turned the earth gray, and bad things start to happen, really bad things. And I've learned so much from Rian. Um, so the bad things start to happen all over. And one of the things that we don't even think about a lot is that that um, that mothers and teachers and caretakers were not really valued. You know how there's halls of fame for movie stars and for football players and for all sorts of people, even Nobel Prize winners. But there's nothing for the most caring person, the person who cares the most. And, and what mothers do, what about mothers, Rian? Well, I think that this is one of the main messages from my work and really also from my life. Um, and it is one of the main messages of this book. Uh, if we don't value the people, and yes, they're mostly women, but they're also very caring men. Uh, if we don't value them because they provide this essential caring connection, then we really have our values upside down. So this book really, as you will see, uh, puts our values right side up. Truly, truly, that is, that is really true. And over here, what happened was that Olivia was very concerned about the bad things that were happening on the planet. She was very concerned. And she, she went up to the universe. She made a prayer to the universe, and no prayer goes unanswered in the universe's heart of love. And the universe brought four children, four children to, to earth in four different corners of the earth, all over the earth. And see, that's one of the things too, that children need to be, have a focus. Children, we have to make sure children are taken care of. Rian has said so much about that. Rian. This has been, uh, as you noted, Victoria, one of the main uh, areas of focus of my work. And if you notice, these four children, uh, Callie and Auro and Rico and Emu, if you use the first letters of their names, guess what they spell? Care. And they, uh, as you will see, are able to lift this fog, a fog that in terms of my uh, conceptual framework uh, really was caused by what I call and what the research shows is a domination system. And as we lift that fog, we can see the very importance, not only for, our, for us to survive, but to thrive of care. So we need economic rewards, social rewards, personal rewards for all of this work of care. Thank you so much, Rian. Thank you. So what happened was when the children were all seven years old, they all lived all over all over the earth. So Oro was from Iceland. See Oro right here? And Callie was from the city of Hills. It's kind of San Francisco with the trolley car and the bridge. And Rico lived in carnival land. He had a lot of fun. And Emil was from all the way here from the land of the tree temples, Thailand and Cambodia. 
and their parents, they didn't know each other, but they just decided to take a trip. They all decided to take their children to the land of temples because, you know, Olivia whispered into their ears. Olivia whispers into the ears of parents saying, take them to the temple of, in the land of the tree temples. So they went there and soon they were like on a tour bus and here they are, like here, they were entering the temple, the kids all by themselves, they entered the temple. And so when they got in the temple, and this temple is a very famous temple in, in, in the world now, it's called Angkor Wat. And the temple is so old to see how the, the trees went through the, the ceiling and came down to the floor. Well, the children went in and they saw four cornerstones, four beautiful, beautiful, glowing, glittering colors, corner, corner, cornerstones. And the reason for that is, is because Rian's teaching her messages is about the four cornerstones. So Rian, I know it's a lot to say, but could you tell us very quickly about the four cornerstones? Well, they're not quite what they are in the story, uh, where the four cornerstones um, are symbolic. But uh, what the research shows is that the long-term strategy that we need uh, in order to shift to a more sustainable, more caring, more egalitarian, uh, more just way of living and making a living uh, are, first of all, to focus on childhood and family. Why? Because neuroscience shows that uh, this is critical. The first few years of childhood are critical. So what is really critical is the quality of care and education children receive early on. And this book is part of that education. The second cornerstone is gender. And we've all been taught, if you notice, there are boys and girls, girls and boys, uh, who have the eyes of care. And really what we have are these rigid gender stereotypes that we've inherited from more rigid times of domination. And what's the good news is again that Many people and this book are dispelling those stereotypes. So both boys and girls can be caring. And then, of course, I've already mentioned economics. We need that cornerstone. We need to reward the work of care. And last but certainly not least, and this is again where this book comes in, story and language because we live by stories. So actually these children didn't know it yet, but they were gonna find out in the tree, there is Olivia coming through the tree. Olivia is going to tell them their mission and they are gonna become the fog busters and they will clear the fog. They don't know how, but they pick up the stones and then the stones immediately become like care rings little beautiful care rings that they can actually talk to on their fingers and Olivia can talk to them. Anyway, so it's, it's a lot of fun. So what happens then is they return home. They return home from, from with their fog rings, with their care rings, they return home. And when they get home at the airport, see this is a little airports, so there's an airport and there's another airport, and there's a third airport right here. So they all come home to their airports, and guess what? There are people all over the airports because they heard what the fog busters did. When they came out of the temple, they, they colored all of the land. And they came out and, well, there were people with picket signs saying, we like the fog, keep the fog, I don't want to change the fog. And then other people were very excited, like us, like us. We're all excited, right? We're all excited. God, you're going to make the fog go away. Go make the fog go away. We're all excited, but not everybody. And some people thought, oh, will my cat be okay? Will it be too bright if the fog goes away? Will it be too bright? So, you know, the fog busters, they, they, they encountered a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people who, you know, had a lot of questions. So I just want to say, Kurt, do you want to say something about this? 
I think you know a little bit about this. Well, I just had to bring myself back off of mute. But uh, yes, this is why we did these books. And as I said up front in the broadcast, and as I say at the end of the broadcast, th this is a message that's for all ages. And it's a message that needs to start at the youngest age. So that who we are with our natural caring instinct, our sense of wonder and awe, that those really can dominate our entire life and not have to be detoured by all the conditionings and all the hard knocks that we go through. So that's what these books are about, to really celebrate how children can have this straight round to the world of one brightness, which of course is where when the fog goes away, then it's the one brightness. So that's why we did these books. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you so much. King Kurt, everybody. King Kurt, king of all the wild things. We cannot tell you what happened after this. All I can say is that Olivia really guided the children, the Fogbusters. And uh, the end of it all is they lived connectedly ever after. So <laughs> now let's go back to King Kurt and see if he has a happy ending for us. Well, thank you so much, Victoria Friedman and Dr. Rian Eisler for sharing this journey into the inspiring children's book from Light on Light Press, Fogbusters. It's available now at all of your booksellers. And you'll see on the banners that will follow just directly after this, where you can pause your video to note the links, how you can obtain Fogbusters, and the websites where you can find out more about this colorful book. You're going to want to check out children's books at lightonlight.us. That's children's books at lightonlight.us and brightness books at vistar, V I S T A R, view.org. That's brightness books at vistarview.org. It's been really fun being with you. Thanks for joining us and join us in busting the fog so that we can all enjoy the world that we want to see. 